Hey up campers, now then, thank you for all them comments on the last uh, On the last video, thing. I don't think anybody commented that didn't say welcome back and mm. that was really heartwarming, thank you, we really do appreciate it Yeah Don't we? We do, thank you very much Yes yeah. So, uh, I know, yeah. I know things are a little bit, um, a little bit slow on the um, getting um, Whatever, they, whatever that video bloggy thing out. Yeah, them out. We're, we're a little bit behind. Yeah, um, it's it's a little bit hard when we're back off grid to keep things uh, charged up and running. Um, we have to look after those essentials, which is uh, Dave's TV. Yeah. It does like a couple of hours TV viewing on an evening, and uh, yeah. So I think he's been a bit selfish, don't you? I was thinking about like fridge and. Stuff like that, not oh, TV. yeah, still I being could, selfish, thinking about his belly. I could, uh, I could give up the TV in the blink of an eye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. so this one is, uh, yeah, it's a little, it's a little bit different because all it is is uh, a little where you can join us on a journey from Ullswater frosty chilly old water mm. um to uh, our next destination which is kendall kendall yeah and beyond and beyond yeah windermere so we uh, yeah. for your for your viewing uh, i tell a lie too um we we the route could be the m6 the mm. or the a6 Yay! So we took the A6, yeah. which is obviously more scenic and mm. uh, beautiful. So we just wanted to share a little bit of that with you, really, didn't we, Dave? Yeah. And uh, yeah, we uh, it's all B-roll, and uh, we could put some lovely music over it, and you could just watch beautiful scenery, but instead you're just going to get our cab chat, mm. if that's all right with you guys. Yeah. So yeah, we'll see you on the other side. Yep. Okay then. Enjoy. <laughs> Bye. So you know what I was saying this morning about that ice? I don't know whether you can see the tops of the uh, hills in front of us, but they are snow capped. They are snow capped, guys. It's absolutely stunning. I mean, we're not B roll people, but the Lake District really is, uh, yeah. Have a bit of B-roll because it is amazing. Are you not going to chat, Dave? No. We won't give them music. La 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 la. Look at that. Oh, I'm just absolutely speechless. That is absolutely stunning. How many times can one woman say absolutely? Oh, stunning. Have I said stunning a few times as well? Oh, yeah. Okay, absolutely stunning then. I'll forget to get his fucking echo as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, over the M6. In a quarter of a mile, and the roundabout takes a second exit onto A6. Uh, oh, we'll, A6. we'll be going on the A6. That's a big rock now, that's a big rock. Oh, commemorative rock even. It said the year 2000 on it. But, uh, oh. I'm sorry. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> oh. oh, we are truly blessed. This is why we've not managed to get out of the UK yet, is it, Dave? Well, there's not any places to have a visit and have a see. And see. Yeah. It's, it's easy breezy, isn't it? It is. So, I forgot to mention, Pooley Bridge is uh, just a couple of miles away from Penrith, so you might not have heard of Pooley Bridge. But uh, yes, it is just a short hop, skip, and a jump from uh, Penrith. But, uh, yeah. Plenty of campsites around it. So Loads of campsites. Say we don't. I don't know what that is. Well, it says what it is. It's Lauva. It's Lauva. Lauva Holiday Park. It said. Wow. Um, going to be having a look for help for you guys. So, yeah. Oh. A 
just want to show you something. Somebody's not impressed with this absolutely stunning scenery. He is strapped in, but he's asleep on my knee. <laughs> E-bike, so you might be uh, coming out with us on uh, on an e-bike sometime soon. Who knows? But uh, yeah, it's uh, what we're calling Babe's mobility scooter. Um, Isn't it, love? Excuse the 
noise, Martha uh, has no turbo guys, she's, uh, she's old school and uh, if you're ever stuck behind us going up a hill, we are sorry. <laughs> we will pull over. Dave does pull over frequently, he's so considerate as a driver. But yeah, the summit of Shap. So, if ever you, ever you get to drive the A6 on a, <laughs> on a uh, sunny day, um, it's uh, beautiful, well worth it, really, really is. Also known as Kendall, where the famous mint cake's from, isn't it, Dave? Yeah. Um, the famous Kendall mint cake. 
Romneys. I don't want to wipe my door, don't you? Come on, Dave. Come on, it's Come on. It's a walk and climbers and stuff, isn't it? It was a high energy snap. Yes. Just pure sugar is Kendall McCake. Pure, pure sugar. Uh, well, life before Prime and Lucas Aid and um, Red, Bull. Red Bull gives you wings and Monster. Yep. Yes. Yeah. 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 We are. Where we're going next? We're going for uh, about ten days, um, and uh, we'll be uh, doing some voluntary country care work. So we're uh, going to get the supplies for the ten days. Uh, whilst we're only voluntary, and we can go off site. It's uh, it's a bit of a pain. So. Uh, We'll get all the supplies before we go, won't we, love? Yeah. And uh, then we can just uh, nest. There's always someone we forget. Oh, always someone we forget. Dave's already written his list. Don't forget porridge, don't forget fruit, and buy me some dilute squash. So, apart from that. Cat, cat scratcher. Oh, yeah, cat needs a new scratcher. But, uh, apart from that, if we don't get it, we won't miss it. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, just a few little errands to run. But, uh, yeah, and then we'll take you on to uh, where we will be calling home for the next few days. So, where we're going now. Uh, yeah, it's a camping and caravanning club site, um, but we're going to go do something a little bit different, aren't we, Dave? Yeah, so we're just in a mammoth shop down Kendall. Yeah. Got a lion, jazz. Yeah. Great dog, you're just paying attention. It's entertaining yourself, but uh, big cab. So I've just been and got 10 days supplies um, because we're going to the Windermere Camping and Caravanning Club site um, and we're going to do what's called some countryside care. So there's the sign for it um, and what countryside care is, is it's a group of volunteers that are camping and caravanning club members and uh, what they do is they go and help out on uh, club sites a bit of free labour really and uh, yeah do a bit of countryside care on this one I mean this is the third year we've done this now isn't it Dave um, on this one um, we tend to do some leaf raking because it's that time of year. So the site's currently closed. Um, and uh, the next left onto Ashes Lane. we'll be doing some leaf raking. Uh, we'll be doing some fence painting. Um, probably painting a gate or two. And painting some garden furniture. Uh, 
uh, maybe a bit of an outbuilding and just anything generally that helps get the site ready for uh, the new season and in return for our labour what we get is to work with a load like of like-minded people work with other volunteers that uh, in all likelihood we've worked with for the previous years because it's uh, usually a returning group and uh, we get a free pitch and uh, electric use of hot showers washing up facilities and laundry so it's usually a, a bit of a respite for Dave and I is this because we've normally been hiking around for the last four winters going from pillar to post finding uh, different places to park um, using the log burner and uh, yeah so this this is always nice to look forward to because it's the first 10 days and it's on a hard standing pitch and it's, a lot of people it's, haven't it's, seen for nearly a year. Yeah, that's it. So, uh, yeah. But uh, this year, obviously, it's a, it's a busman's holiday because uh, this is what we've been doing all winter. So, yeah, here we are. It's called Windermere Camping and Caravanning Club site. Um, but it's not on Windermere. If you want to uh, go to uh, the one that's on Windermere, that's Bowness Camping and Caravanning Club site. So Dave's just going to get out and let us in. And, I think uh, it's locked. He thinks it's locked. Oh, we know it's not locked. I think it's locked. No. It's might have a special key though. Yeah. So the site's closed obviously and uh, it's not close to us because uh, our Dave's opening the gate and letting us in maybe or maybe not looks like we have a, a warden coming down with a clipboard Dave there's a gentleman coming down to you with a clipboard a gentleman there with a clipboard Oh, same manager as last year. That's a surprise. Right, I'll stop that there and we'll uh, see you when we're pitched up. So how beautiful is that? Mm. I mean, if you've never been to the Lake District, we hope we gave you a little taste of it. And uh, we hope we didn't bore you senseless with uh, well, our cab chat. Just how it is, isn't it? That's, yeah. what, that's what we're like. We're just chatty. Well, one of us is chatty, chatty. The other is pretty quiet. Can't get a word in. But the people uh, from uh, around the, uh, are still getting used to the sight of sheep. The people from Lincolnshire and stuff, are like, yes, hope they saw lots of sheep. He's obsessed. Yeah. He used to collect sheep. But saying that. Admit, not real sheep, yeah. just little cypher figures and sheep. He loves sheep. But on, on, the, on the other thing, though. Yes. He didn't see lots of people growing things. No, that's it. In the Lake District, you don't see lots of people growing things either. Mm. So, you know, there is a flip side. Yeah. Anyway, we're just talking more rubbish. So, anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, yes. we want to say, go on, leave us some more comments. Yeah, leave Fantastic. a comment. Fantastic. love the comments. You know, yeah. make our day. Mm. And uh, if you liked it. If you don't like what you're seeing, just tell us. Yeah, it's tell us. Yeah. Yep. Nicely done. Not mind showers. Yeah, be constructive. Yeah. Yes. Be constructive, okay? And, um, and uh, yeah, we'll join you again. Yeah, don't forget, bit of subscribing if you want. But yeah. Welcome to new uh, view. Yeah, we, we, we get this thing where we can see statistics and over half of our views come from people who aren't subscribed. Mm -hmm. So what are you doing? If you're watching, why not subscribe? Yeah. You don't have to watch. Just subscribe. Just leave it there. That's fine, but right. yeah, why not? Well, yeah, we'd like you to carry on watching, wouldn't we? But yeah, you, half rather... of you that watch haven't subscribed, I'd rather you so watch. give it a not subscription. Subscribe. Why not? And don't forget, you can uh, 
Yeah, if you do want notification on when we next upload, then... Uh, you can ring my bell. I'm going to put a little, little picture on my bell. Yeah, a yeah. little picture. Ring but my <laughs> bell. I think. Okay. Um, so, until we've worked out the dates that we can actually uh, yes. upload yes. regularly, yeah. if you haven't hit that bell, then you might miss one basically yeah, yeah, yeah. because uh, it's a bit random at the minute it's not particularly consistent as to when they're going up so yes if you uh, if you subscribe and want to know when we next upload hitting that bell will uh, keep you notified until we uh, find out a way to uh, manage our uploads so that we can make sure that you get timely videos all right i'm going to shut up now mm. so we'll see you later guys yep. and uh, join us in the next one as we start our uh, countryside care at windermere and uh, yeah it gets quite interesting bye <laughs> <laughs> oh bye 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 bye